Hello fellow Java developers, welcome to the starter course on Apache Camel. It is brought to you by Cyberlogic Consultium, an IT consulting company in Switzerland since 2006. Many of our team members are Apache Camel committer or PMC member. We are actively contributing to the Apache Camel further development since 2010 and with years of hands-on experience, we will guide you through the fundamentals of Apache Camel and help you get started with the framework. This course is designed to give you an understanding of Apache Camel's architecture, how it works and what kind of problems does it solve. Throughout this course, I will give you an overview of Apache Camel's architecture and its main components. We will also go through many examples to give you an understanding of how Apache Camel works and experience using it. If you're new to Camel or if you want to know more about its capabilities, this is the right place to start. Before we talk about Camel, we should understand what enterprise integration is. Software integration is a process of combining multiple separate software programs or elements together into one system. Therefore, enterprise integration is a process of combining multiple separate enterprise software pieces together. Consider, for example, modern bank system and what happens when you pay with your bank card. Payment is processed on a terminal and information then is sent to central banking system and back signaling that you have enough money to make a purchase. Simultaneously, central banking system sends notification to your mobile application so that you get a pop-up message. If you then request your bank statement at bank's website or at its office, you will get an updated information accounting for your latest purchase. As you can see, there is a lot of different software systems, terminal, central banking system, mobile application, website, and many more that weren't mentioned. All these systems need to communicate information and enterprise integration is a process of enabling that communication or in other words, integrating these enterprise software elements. Apache Camel was created to solve exactly this kind of problem, integration. It is an open source Java framework designed specifically for building integration solutions. It allows developers to set up integrations that connect systems, convert data formats, perform transformations, handle errors and logging, and handle different communication protocols like HTTP, GMS, and many others. Camel does this with a concept called routes, which are like maps that show how data moves from one system to another. Here you can see a definition of a route. We will not go into details just yet, so this simplified example shows something that might happen when you request your bank statement at your bank's office. Here Camel is used to connect bank's office software to the central banking system. Imagine that the bank's office software is a bit old and can only communicate by GMS protocol with XML messages, while central banking system is more modern and communicates by HTTP protocol and JSON messages. Here is how Camel comes into play. Bank's office software sends a GMS statement request. This request is read by Camel route from a GMS queue then it is logged and then transformed from XML to JSON. And that JSON is then used as HTTP request to the central banking system. JSON response from the central banking system is then transformed back from JSON to XML. And then this statement response is sent back as a GMS message to the bank's office software. So this camel you define these kinds of routes to define a flow of data between systems. Now, let's talk a bit more about enterprise integration. You see, enterprise integration is not a new field. It is actually well researched and has a standards that guide best practices. The most important set of standards is enterprise integration patterns or EIPs. 
These are tried and tested design solutions for most common integration tasks. Even in our simplified example, we were using patterns like message. It is our message that is read from GMSQ, transformed, sent to banking system, and then back. Message channel. These are our GMSQs and HTTP URL. And translator. This is our logic that transforms message from XML to JSON and back. Here you can see the diagram that represents this camel route in enterprise integration patterns. In fact, most enterprise integration solutions are made up from these kinds of patterns. While we won't dive deep into each pattern now, I highly recommend you exploring them on your own, on this website. Link will be down below in the description. Understanding enterprise integration patterns will give you a strong foundation for building effective integration solutions. It will also make learning Camel easier, as Camel incorporates many of these patterns. You can find how Camel implements each pattern here on this documentation page. Link will also be down below. Here you can click at any pattern and see implementation details and how to make this pattern work in Camel. So, if you recognize the integration pattern but don't know how to implement it in Camel, here on this documentation page you will find all the guidance you need. And with that, here is the end of our introduction to Apache Camel. Thanks for joining. Be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. I will answer to all of those. See you in the next video. Until then, happy coding!